you're going to safeguard your mind. You got to start being thankful. And no parent in here want to give a child nothing. They're always complaining. Amen. I don't want that. Uh -huh. I want that. I don't want this. Well, you, you said you want it. I don't want that now. I want this. I ain't giving you nothing. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think God is saying to us? Wow. When He bless us with a job. Wow. And we complain every day we go. Amen. <laughs> then we, when we lose a job, Lord, you know. <laughs> This tedious journey with a whole new job. You know I need to pay my bill. Why well, gave you a job? And you complain every day. Then when he pays it, then when they come back hours, you mad. Somebody here want a new car. And you can't keep the car you got clean. Somebody, somebody here looking for looking for a man. Huh? And you can't listen. Oh. Oh. Huh? Somebody, some brother here, you want a good woman. But you don't love your girlfriend. Oh. Huh? Somebody, look, look, I need the house. Go open the door for me. Oh, I need a new house. But you can't even keep the one bedroom clean. Yeah. Folk gotta step over the clothes just to get in your room. Girl, clean up, clean up. I ain't come over no more, you clean up. Huh? But we want God to do all this stuff for us. But many of us are not even grateful for what we got. You're right, sir. You're right, sir. Can't complain about how, how fat your woman is. Walk with her. Ah. Come on, baby, let's walk. Huh? I'll slow up. Come on. Huh? Ah. Huh? Come on, complain about your man. He ain't romantic. When was the last time you cooked cook a romantic dinner for him? Say it, Mark. We need an example. Oh, sometimes we need a, just a good example. Yeah. That's how you do it. Listen, everybody ain't romantic. Yeah. 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 Somebody need to be taught. Somebody taught you? Yeah. Why you can't teach nobody else? Yeah. Well, you need to know by now who told you that. <laughs> you ought to know. You need to stop, stop sinning, but what we do every day. Yeah. Well, what Jesus do? His hand is not turned away, but his hand. I stretched out still. And I'm almost finished. Not only, not only, Pastor, uh, must, must we secure our surroundings and safeguard our mind, but we must critique what we speak. The Bible says, a man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. More people die in the church because someone spoke death over them instead of life. You've got to be careful what you say to the people of God. Don't you know what God had to go through to get that sister in church and he you is with your blabber mouth so it seems into her life that will destroy her and not build her up. You got to check what comes out of your mouth. I know you grow, but you need to check yourself. Ain't nobody want nobody talking to their children any kind of way. You down to the school, you had a ponytail, that's lean all on your face, your nails cut at an angle so you can scratch somebody up because somebody has said something wrong to your child, yet you come to church and you talk to God's child any kind of way and expect God to tell you amen. Don't you know what he had to do to get that person into the church and to take your big mouth to run them from the church? More folk can die at the Saints Hospital yes, sir. Yes, sir. than God is pleased with. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus had to, had to put folk in jail, yeah. take some poor folk out, uh -huh. just to get that individual in church. Yeah. And they come to church looking for a haven of rest. Yeah. They find nothing but hell on every hand. They come to get a word from the Lord. And they get nothing but a word from the devil. They come to be uplifted. And you got folk pulling them down. We come to the church looking for someone to love us. And the church is filled with a bunch of haters. How in the world are we going to do God's work when we don't know how to keep our mouths shut and make people live and not die? 
say nothing. Then we get mad. Because the preacher tells us to shut up. I would have to tell you to shut up if you check yourself before you came out of your mouth. See, the Holy Spirit will catch that foolishness. Have anybody ever been in a predicament where the Holy Spirit says, shh, don't say a word. Yeah, 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 don't yeah. you don't keep it shut. Yeah, yeah. Keep it shut. Don't, talk, don't say it. Don't say it. Don't, 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 don't say it. Am I the only one? No, sir. Holy Spirit will tell you to keep your mouth shut. And here we is because we grown. That's because you got a job in the car don't mean you grown. Yes, the Holy Spirit, go there and sit down. Sit right there. You wonder why God can't do nothing in your life? Sit down over there. Because you ain't learned to keep your mouth shut. My God. The Bible wow. says you know a fool by the multitude of words. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Am I right about it? We got to learn to save people's lives. Amen. And not kill them. Amen. Amen. Preaching and praying for 12 years that this sister will come to the church. And it took her 12 years to get here, Reverend. Yeah. And it took that sister over there. I'm not pointing at nobody. That sister back on that cabinet back there. Two minutes to turn her life around. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But you tell Girl, I thought you were coming back to it's church. The truth. Well, I, you it's know, the truth. So just, it's the truth. just messed up my spirit. It's the truth. I, just, I, just, I don't feel like coming back. I don't feel like coming back to the church. You know, I thought that, you know, they loved me. When was the last time you called somebody or even called the, the apostle and said, Pastor, I just called to tell you I love you? They don't do that in my church. I got to call them. Call somebody. When was the last time you gave somebody an encouraging word? When was the last time you called somebody and said, Be encouraged? The Lord led you on my spirit. And told me to pray for you. I just want you to know I'm praying for you. Yes. First time we call a girl, I just want to know what's going on. Where your, where your man at? Girl, what? <laughs> my man don't even come to church. What you worry about my man for? <laughs> you don't call nobody else about that man. Girl, how you doing? I call to check up on you. Yeah, amen. I just want to be a hot Bible study on Wednesday. Like, girl, it's going to be off the chain. Girl, you know what the reverend gonna say? No, I don't know, but it's gonna be hot. You need to come. Oh, yeah. When was the last time you did that? You know what? We don't do that to nobody in the church. Because if it was true, the church would be filled with people. Right. We got a hundred people in our family, and only three come to church. What in the world is going on here? You ain't got no influence over nobody. Stop being a hell raiser and folk will follow you. Amen. People don't want to come your way because they know you are a different person outside the church than you in church. In church. called to this ministry. Yeah. 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 God called 
called you to the church to fulfill the purpose that has been established on your life from the foundation of the world. God predestined you to fulfill the ministry and purpose that's on your life. And he sent you here because he's been praying for 15 years that God will prepare a people that will love Jesus. And what did God do? He sent you to be here because he knew he answered his prayer for your life. And you are here for a divine purpose because you accepted the call that was on your life. And how dare you let somebody take you out of where God sent you? How God gonna send you to genuine love and you gonna have that, that shit back there discourage you from coming to church? I wanna see you get mad on your job and walk off. Girl, I'm out here. I can hear now. Don't do it, girl. Don't do it. Don't do it. You know I will.